people close to President Kufo um, engaged with us about a matter that uh, the Honorable Kennedy Japan had talked about on television. Uh, President Kufo's people were, uh, gave us a clarification of something Kennedy Japan actually said. We'd like to show you what he said and we'll tell you the clarification that he gave us because they have given us permission tonight to share the story with you. This is what Kennedy Japan said. So what was your relationship with President Kufo in the second term and all that? No, very good. Okay. What's your relationship with him today? Today is, you know, because uh, something happened, a young guy lied to him and I think President did not give me a chance even to explain. What did he lie to him about? Well, I went to Ada's office, a uh, house. Kofi Ada. I was chasing my money. Mm -hmm. May I believe in business. That I remember very well. Bairudu was the finance minister at that time. Mm -hmm. So, Ada had taken over as the minister for energy. Mm -hmm. And he didn't know who was behind that day. So he was not going to pay it. And I went to him. Whilst I was there, I met one guy. If I hear the same name with a chief director in, I will get the name. Mm -hmm. And he started asking me questions. The guy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The guy. Oh, this election, uh, presidential, uh, you know, whom do you think is going to win? Oh, this is the, the 17. Right. Okay. Then I said, honestly, when I was going to America, I'm just quoting what I said. Mm -hmm. When I was going to America, Alan was leading. But when I came back, people are shifting. And the reason, <laughs> I, I don't even get them because election, you need somebody who can raise funds. That time, Alan had raised about 13 billion. Mm -hmm. And some people did not even understand why. And they were using that against us. So how? So I said, because of the fundraising, now Nanado is slightly ahead of Alan. Mm -hmm. That was that was all. I, yeah. Then then what did he tell Jacob for? Uh, yeah, okay. the guy is called Atu Ishen. Very bad boy. Atu Ishen. Yeah, very bad boy. <laughs> Maybe I know him. I think I know him. Yeah, very bad boy. Okay. So he he then said what? He I hear later on. I heard he went to. I thought all along to last year, I thought it was Alan who called President Kufo to tell him. Not knowing it was Dr. Anani. Called President Kufo to tell him that what? Yeah, that I don't support Alan. A whole lot of things went on. And the way the man loved me to death, he sacked me from his house without giving me any chance. You, you went to his house to talk to him? I had gone there, yes. Because they hinted me. Chemabute hinted me that, that there's a problem you should go Yeah, there's resolve. a problem, so go to your father. No, yeah. the man loves me to death. When I enter the house, straight to his kitchen, oh, I'm going to prepare my own tea. Then I'll go to the small Just say, no, 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 that boy, he's evil. So that day, what did President Kofod, he said, leave my house? Yeah, he didn't give me a chance. He didn't know. I think now he's realized I never did anything of that sort. I never campaigned against Allah. Until... He sacked me from his house. How did he sack you from his house? You know, he said, you know, you, and it's true. Whatever he said about me and his relationship is true. So, so he was hurt. Mm. He was hurt. But he didn't give me a chance even to explain because I was innocent about the whole thing. He said, you, small boy, anybody who asks me to give the position, I do it. But you, one thing, you can't do it for me. And you are opposing me. I said, oh, President, what? Then he said, you know. I didn't know anything. I don't know what that boy at tuition went and told Dr. Anani. And I don't know today what Dr. Anani told President that destroyed the relationship. Yeah. I have never done anything like that. So I came out to say, well, if he doesn't want to give me a chance, then hey, I'll support Nana Kufuad. So I timed them. I was quiet. The last minute when they were in the buses coming, then I hit them. Bah! Everybody should vote for Kufuad. You hit them with a gun? No. I mean, I came out on Adum FM and I told them they should vote for Kufuad.
And you are quite popular. Even so, that time. Yeah, even that time you were. Yeah, I told them. So that's how come you were standing behind Akufuado when he was giving yes. the victory speech. Yeah. Okay, so that was the story, the narration that the Honorable Kennedy Japan gave to me uh, on Tuesday. Um, people close to Jay Kufo have engaged with us, and they, they confirm that, uh, and they have given their permission for me to say this. I've also discussed this matter with Honorable Kennedy Japan. They confirm that the relationship between the Honorable Kennedy Japan and President Kufo has muddied a little bit. And that, um, well, those of you watching who have capacity to bring them together, I think both men really love each other. Something happened. It was a misrepresentation. Now, they say that the real problem was that President Kufo's son, uh, one of his sons, was engaged with, in business with another person named Mr. Kwame Poku. Um, it turned out that this Mr. Kwame Poku had, um, the, the business didn't go quite well. It ended up in court. So President Kufo's son uh, took legal action against Mr. Kwame Poku. The court agreed with President Kufo's son. And so it turned out that bailiffs had to go to Mr. Kwame Poku's house in Tema to go and sort of uh, take his property to pay for the debt. Uh, Honorable Kennedy Japan was doing his normal work when he was hinted by journalists from Adom FM that President Kufo's son had sent bailiffs to take somebody's property. So he was worried that uh, President Kufo's name is going to be dragged in the mud. So he called President Kufo and said, your son is taking people's property out of some business that I know about and you should tell him to stop so that we can settle this matter amicably because you are president of Ghana and you don't need to do that. Uh, it would appear that President Kofor believed that his son was actually in Tema uh, doing something wrong. So he looked for his son, and his son was right in the house. It was then, according to the story, misrepresented to President Kofor that Kennedy at Japan was on the side of the businessman against President Kofor's son. But the truth story is that Kennedy at Japan was always on Mr. Kofor's son's side, but he was worried that the media were going to pick up this information about President Kufo's son. And in 2007, it was going to destroy the president's name. Communication did not work. Kennedy Japan was not able to tell President Kufo that this is what I stood for. I didn't want your name to be destroyed, so I was telling you to tell your son to hold on, that even me, Kennedy Japan, I can settle this matter. And he proceeded to settle it. He even paid some money to, to the parties that needed to be paid. But it looks like uh, President Kufo's uh, uh, view of the matter, the narration that was given to him, was that Kennedy at Japan was against his son in this business. So that's what brought the confusion. So they are telling us that the confusion was not so much about politics, but it was about business, and the president was disappointed that Kennedy at Japan was like his son, a man he knew well, a man he gave access to. When he heard Kennedy at Japan talking about those things. So they wanted this clarification sort that in his political lifetime, President Kufo has led the MPP to two successful elections. He has supported the MPP's presidential candidate as elected, Nana Adu Danko Akufuado, in 2008. He did not necessarily have a preference for any of the 17, and that he was waiting so that whoever wins the contest, he will support him. And in 2016, we all saw President Kufo on the platform campaigning ferociously for President Akufuado. During the election petition court case, we saw President Kufuado campaigning for President Akufuado to win the court case. And of course, in 2016, we saw it. And on Inauguration Day, in January 7, 2017, if you look at the Independence Square, only few people were happier than President Kufuado to see Nana Akufuado become President of Ghana. So there's no problem with that. But the problem is a family problem. I spoke to Kennedy Japan this morning about that. He remembers this issue and it actually really also hurt him because he said that he actually paid money so that the matter would be saved, but the president didn't give him the opportunity to explain to him that he was not against his son, but that he wanted peace to prevail and that the president's name should be sustained. So this is the clarification.